Um, today I decided to do a normal makeup tutorial for you guys. Um, I think I'm going to be starting to do more of these instead of my usual, like, mocking fake tutorials. Um, because I actually can do makeup and, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to get right into this. Um, hopefully my baby won't cry during this and I won't have to stop. <laughs> He's playing right now. Okay, so this is the look. And it is just a, um, blue with a darker crease and some sparkle and just normal eyelashes and eyeliner. And, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I already have my hair up and I'm just going to get right into this. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my elf eyelid primer and I'm just gonna put it I just put it going up like this and put some underneath I hope the lighting's okay and then I'm just gonna blend that into my eyelid and underneath there and we're all uh, blended in and so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blending brush by um, it's elf yeah the elf blending brush and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a normal I'm not even going to bother showing you this but it's like a cool black it's not like super black it's like kind of a gray black eyeshadow and I'm just going to get on my blending brush and I'm just going to put it in the corner and don't worry if you're not perfect because we can just fix it. So we're just putting it in the corner and then we're bringing it around. Sorry. So we're creating this kind of dark yeah. In this shape. And see how it comes all the way. Like that. Okay. So the next part I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this angle, what is it? De or this defining eye brush. And it's like this and it's thin, it's kind of angled. And um, what I'm doing is I'm taking this blue right here, and this is my Coastal Suns 88 palette. And I'm just going to get that on my brush. And I'm going over, ooh, I'm gonna, just going to go over the black to make it, it'll be more of a darker blue. And then we're going to bring it down. See, it's kind of... Oh my gosh. The camera is like sliding down. Okay. Ah, why is this sliding? Okay. Alright. And we're just bringing it down. I'm bringing it down. Okay, so we have that darker blue kind of color. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking this um, lighter blue underneath. It's kind of an aqua, teal color. And where the other one was a little bit more of a sky bluish. And we're going to go over it as well. Just kind of, yeah. Bringing it down. Try to make the sides match, and that looks about right. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be putting white in our corner. And um, what I'm going to be using, if you have just like a white mm, jumbo pencil or something, some kind of creamy thing that you can use as a base, go ahead and use that. I do not have one, so I'm just going to be using my 
Halloween makeup and it's just white. Any kind of base will do that's white though. And I'm putting it on the tip of my blending brush. Not too much. But. And I'm going to be placing it in the corner of my eye and coming down here. Everywhere I'm going to be putting the white. Because um, I really want the white to stand out and I don't know. I haven't found a really good white eyeshadow yet and if you guys know one, you should let me know because I, I do not have like a super, I just need a really bright white, honestly. Okay, so now that I've put my base. I'm just going to take a white eyeshadow. Any white eyeshadow will do. Mine is from the Profusion 88 Pro Eyeshadow Palette, which is this. Whoa. And it looks like this inside. I'm going to use this white up here. It's the whitest one that I have. I'm just going to coat my blending brush in the white. And I'm just going to place it on top of that, the base that I put down. Yeah. The way it's really defined, and also make sure that you really get it in the corner so it'll define that blue line and it'll make it pop out and more, um, like, apparent that it's there. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking a very um, light sky blue and I'm taking it from my Profusion Essential Beauty Kit, which is this one, and I'm taking this blue right here. I'm just coating my, <coughs> excuse me, my blending brush in it, and I'm going to be taking it in the corner here and just blending it into the white and blending it into the dark color right here. So, it's just a really nice blue color. Okay. Good. Now, the next thing we are doing is we are taking um, that angled brush that I had earlier, this one, and I'm taking the same teal color we used when we put it on top of the dark line that we first did. I'm taking that blue, that tealy color, and I'm putting it all over my brush, and I'm going to be just putting it on top of the line not on it but like right above it and creating like a tealy blue color on top and bring it down as well I'm trying to figure out if he's okay I think he's okay for right now. He's just complaining. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to be blending that into the darker line as well. Just a little bit, but you still want that dark defined line. Like that. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to take a, um, a darker, or no. Okay, so we're going to take our blending brush again, and we're going to go using that coley black that I had used earlier. And I'm going to get that on there, not too much, but enough, and, um, top it off, and we're just going to start blending it over that darker line. We're going to really define it, but we're going to blend it, we're going to blend it pretty well. I know a lot of layering, a lot of color, and it's kind of a hassle, but I think the results are worth it. So, what I'm doing is I'm just taking, I keep putting a little bit of that darker color on it, um, and I keep blending. 
blending, blending, blending. So everything just kind of goes together really well. And blending that into the blue a little bit. Over there. Okay. That looks that looks good. So um Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take it out white again. And then my blending brush. I really like my blending brush, by the way. Okay. And I'm putting it on my highlight up here where the rest of your, um, if you fall out, you can just use a bigger, like, blush brush to just wipe it away. And so we're just putting it on whatever is left up there which will be just a little space between the eyeshadow and the eyebrow and also blending the blue a little bit into the into the white so everything just flows really well and no not too many harsh lines okay Okay, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. Um, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're taking a... Oh dear, oh here it is. Okay, so I'm taking a, um, a shimmering um, like white eyeshadow. It's not eyeshadow, it's more loose. So what it is is it's LA Color Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow. And that's what it is, looks like that. And it is in the color Snow White. I really like this. I usually, I use it a lot over my eyeshadows to make them just shimmer. So you're just going to be placing that on your highlight where you put that white up there. And in the corner where you placed that white before. But just there. So don't put it anywhere else. And bring it down a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm taking, and you can use any kind of glitter, um, what I found is pretty easy is I have this NYX Glitter Cream Palette, and it looks like this, and usually I'm not going to re recommend any kind of cream eyeshadow that has glitter in it. Um, most cream eyeshadows um, are better used as bases because um, they will crease really bad on you. So this is what this looks like in here, but um, in this case, I'm going to be taking this this um, black metally glitter, and the glitter is nice because it it does have that cream base in it, so it makes it stick pretty well to wherever you're putting it on it. But it's really hard to um, to blend, so it's just difficult. But I don't have a glitter like this right now, so. What we're going to be do is we're just going to take it right in this area. So you see over here, we're going to be placing it all over that dark corner. Okay, take a little too much. And um, blend it as much as you can, move it around a little bit. So it's just kind of in that corner. And it's, you know, it just adds a little bit of shimmer and glitter and makes it just a little bit more detailed and pretty so blending that around make sure it's even and you put a little bit more on here okay then you can take it kind of down the strip if you want a little bit this darker one but not too far All right, well, I'm done with that part. All right, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go um, underneath. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking a white eyeliner, if I can find it, because I'm totally not prepared. Okay, so here I have my white eyeliner and it's just by e.l.f. and it's a shimmer eyeliner pencil so it's like the shimmerier ones 
and I'm just going to put that on my waterline. Um, I do not suggest this eyeliner. It is not very good. It's kind of, I don't know, I think maybe it's a little bit too creamy, or maybe not too creamy, it's just, it doesn't sit very well. It just kind of, eh, it's whatever. I haven't found a great use for it yet, but, you know. So, the next thing I'm doing is I'm taking a little, a thin brush like this, and I'm getting some of that white eyeshadow, and I'm going to place it on my wa- oh, jeez. Sorry. It fell. Okay. I'm taking the white eyeshadow, I'm placing it on the waterline, because I'm, that way I'm just setting the white eyeshadow, or white eyeliner, so that it, um, you know, it'll stay longer and it's more apparent. Um, I don't suggest doing um, eyeshadow on your waterline if you have sensitive eyes because um, eyeshadow normally will get a little bit in your eye and um, it can irritate them. Me, I'm just kind of used to it, so you know, I just kind of blink a lot and get over it. But um, yeah, so the next thing I'm taking is I'm taking this thin brush again and I'm going to take some of that cool black color. And I'm taking it just under the waterline, so not on the waterline, but just underneath it. And I'm going to bring it up in the corner and kind of blend it into that darker, so it all flows really well. So underneath that. Okay, alright. And then I'm going to take that teal color that we used up here and um, over there a little bit. And I'm putting it on the smaller brush. And I'm just taking it underneath and putting it on top of the darker color almost. Just so, see, it's darker and then blue. Okay. And if you get any fallout, you can take easily a um, uh, makeup remover wipe, or I'm just using a baby wipe because I have them and they work good. You can also use lotion on a tissue or something. There. Alright. Um, the next thing that I'm going to be doing is eyeliner. Bear with me. Um, my eyeliner, sometimes I mess up, so hopefully it'll go okay. And I am just taking the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. Um, I have always wanted a pen, and I bought this, or I got this for Christmas, I asked for it. And it, um, works really well, I really like it. So, what I'm just gonna do is, the same over here, is it's, um, just thinner down here and fatter and then I do a pretty big wing up here going and you always kind of want to go up towards your eyebrow um, not so much out this way well depending oh sorry you can't even see me you want to go up towards your eyebrow and not so much this way um, well depending on the look but um, for this look you're going up towards your eyebrow just kind of towards the end of it I kind of missed but it's fine so um, I'm just going to do this And if you have a hard time um, getting your eyeliner perfect, like matching, the best thing to do is just go in little strokes, so not to make a big mistake, and you'll have more control. Because you can always add more eyeliner, and it's harder to remove eyeliner. So, remember that. You can always start out little and just keep adding more to make it thicker, more volume, whatever. And try and make it match as much as possible. Alright, and then I'm just going to bring it underneath the waterline, not on the waterline, just underneath just a little bit. Just very lightly go underneath just a little bit. And not too far. About halfway. Okay. Alright, that looks good. 
And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, mascara and I use the last. I know everyone uses last blast, but I'm using the lash blast fusion. It's not waterproof, and waterproof I find is more drying and it's worse for your eyelashes. That's why I'm using the blue one or purple, whatever you want to call it, because um, it um, it doesn't dry out my eyelashes and my eyelashes are healthier because it's not waterproof. So keep that in mind, and it works really well. I like it. And on the bottom lashes as well. Feel free to keep going over your eyelashes with mascara because the more you put on the more it's just going to look fatter and um, longer. Or you can use fake eyelashes. Mine are still coming in the mail so I don't have any right now. Okay, so we are done with the eyes and so I'm just going to, I guess I'll just show you what I do with my face really fast. Um, the con I am really, really pale so the concealer or the foundation I use is Aqua Smooth um, by CoverGirl. And it's um, in the color ivory. So this is what it looks like. And you open it up and there's the stuff in there. It comes with a sponge, but I don't use a sponge. Um, so I'm just using my e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm just going to put that on there. I'm just going to start. Um, if there is one... Con like foundation I suggest is this stuff um I know everyone is using MAC and stuff like that and I've honestly myself never tried the MAC foundation um but I know that I absolutely love this stuff um it is amazing uh it's ten dollars at the drugstore and you know who cares if you're honestly using MAC or um, drugstore makeup or whatever? It's still makeup, and if you can work it and make it look good, you know, then don't worry about it. You're not. It's not like you're not a makeup artist or good at makeup if you can't afford tons of MAC products or whatever. I mean, I could buy MAC products if I wanted to, but um, I'm super happy with what I have. I have a few MAC products, but. Um, Lennon, I'm almost done. My point is, is that don't be afraid to um, try out drugstore products as well. Cause you might find something that you like more than pa Mac. You know, Mac's a little bit overrated. You know, they have some really great stuff, but they're not. I don't mean they're not the holy grail of makeup. Can you wait? He might not wait. We'll see. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do my eyebrow. How funny. Okay. So, after I'm done doing that. Um, oh, geez. How long have you been like that? I'm sorry. Okay. So, after I'm done doing that, um, uh, I'm going to, usually you would set it with a powder, but... I do not have powder right now. So what I'm taking is I'm taking a brush brush. And I'm taking... This is an e.l.f. blush and it's called... Got a Glow. And what it is, it's this, this white, creamy color. And I like to take it and I like to highlight. So I put it right underneath my eyes. On, right there on the cheekbone. and just gives you a little bit extra glow. Okay. Now I'm looking really pale. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to take my MAC. My
my favorite, okay, this is my favorite blush ever. I have a lot of really great pink blushes, but this brush, blush kills me. Okay, so what it is by MAC, and it's called Honor, and I hope that you can, it'll catch up. Okay, so it's like a peachy-ish um, tan color with a lot of gold. Gold, 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 and I love it! I mean, I'm going to say it's definitely, it's got some pinky color in it, but it's more gold. Okay, so I'm going to now my brush. And, oh man, are you okay? So I did play. Hi, honey. Okay, he's really mad, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, so, put it on your cheeks. Okay, mama's coming. And I'm just putting it on my cheeks and bringing it up around. He wants more toys to play with. Okay. So that, and then on my lips, all that I would use is um, my MAC lipstick that matches my, um, it's called gel, it's a frost, and it's this gold color. And just put that on my lips. Okay. I'll post pictures at the end so you can see. Because I have to rush. But this is the finished look. Hopefully you can see. I know the lighting's terrible. This is the eyes, the lips, everything. So, um, also, um, I didn't finish my brow. But what I did was I just took this little brush and I took the coal color. Not a ton. But, um, I just defined my eyebrows and just kind of go over my already eyebrows, eyebrows I already have, and just to make them a little bit darker, because I have, um, you know, black in my, black and blue hair right now, so it's okay if I do darker eyebrows. Um, I'm not really used to them, you know, I'm just starting to use the eyebrow color and stuff, but, um, my baby calmed down. Hi, honey! Okay, well, that was mad again, but, um, alright, well, I gotta go. I gotta get my baby, but, yeah, so, this is the look, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be doing more looks, um, like, real looks, more makeup tutorials. I also have a pinup one coming. Um, where I'm going to show you how to do kind of hair and makeup. And that's really fun. So, I will see you guys later. Love you all. Hope you enjoyed this. Okay, bye.